we're right in close by a little barrier. We're only in 10 metres of water. And um, so this is a great, great spot to be doing your um, soft baiting, which is pretty, pretty common in here. Um, but it's also a really good place to fish those little micro fish lures, you know, which they fish on. Um, and uh, so the little micro flash ones, uh, you almost fish them like a soft bait in these sort of situations. The same sort of twitching, bouncing, bringing it back to the boat um, situation. And uh, yeah, so that's what Phil's doing with his So we're just fishing the micro flash. This one's a um, caramello. So it's a caramelly yellow with a chocolatey brown. And uh, it's bouncing it along the bottom slowly and it looks like we've picked up something reasonable. See what comes to the boat. It was interesting. There we go, we've got some colour. What is that? Look at the bubbles. Look at the bubbles. Yeah, what's that? Oh, that's a good snapper. Wow. And with what, uh, what lure did you use? It's the um, Caramello Jack Flash, oh, yeah. Micro Flash. And it's a 30 gram version, so it got to the bottom a bit quicker, which is a good thing. Micro Flash lures come in five different colors and two different weights. So you've got uh, 20 gram and 30 gram in each color. 20 gram is about 48 millimeters long and the 30 gram is 52 millimeters. So not much difference in size between them, but the 30 does drop slightly quicker through the water column. Trying out the new anchovy pattern on the micro flash. This is my second fish, second cast, second fish. Keep it. Who says there's no snapper under the anchovies? So, when we were designing the micro flash lures, um, we had a really good look at other little micro jigs in the market and there's three things that we've done at Glowbite that make this lure quite unique from others that are available. The first thing you'll see is this big concave on the upper surface and that is a cavitation zone that's going to cause this lure to um, hang more, more on the drop. It's going to increase the flutter on the drop and you can see that in the underwater footage just how much that lure just um, rocks. Because it's center weighted, doesn't really know which way to fall, so it just um, rocks from side to side all the way down on the drop. Second feature is uh, the hook itself. You'll see that's a pretty booty solid sort of a hook. Um, there's a lot of micro jigs on the market that have a very fine hook, and that's great for penetration on small fish particularly. Um, but when it comes to ha catching big fish, and we know that these lures actually quite well known for catching kingfish um, when you're fishing around workups um, that it's really hard to find a hook that will stand up to that kind of punishment so we've gone for a one bar o gorilla style hook on this it's, if you look carefully you'll see it's got the um, triple cutting point technology in the hook tip and so a really solid hook that's designed to be able to hold big fish um, when it comes under pressure the third thing that you'll notice is um, a good old Glowbite um, fish scent dispenser technology going on on there, the little hole that you can fill up with your favorite um, fish attractant, whether it's um, Procure or um, Secret Source, and it's gonna bleed out slowly as you're um, working that lure back to the boat. Fill up a bit of the Secret Source. Not that we really need it, Seem to be getting hammered by fish out here regardless. So let's have a go. As soon as I get close to the bottom. Yep, so 
soon as I get to the bottom, tap, 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 boom, into another fish. Oh, another little jack mac. There you go. So, when you're not catching snapper on them, or kingfish, you can catch live baits. But not today. You can go for it. When it comes to rigging these lures, you want to tie your leader off on the solid ring, um, not the little split ring. Um, or alternatively, you can use a speed clip of some description. So this is the, um, the Glowbite um, Quick Clips. So you can use one of those and clip it straight again onto that solid ring. And that gives you the advantage of being able to quickly change lure colors and lure weights. It also gives you the advantage that there's a little bit more freedom for the hook to swing when you're connected with a clip like that so actually that's my go-to to use a little clip to hold my lure via the solid ring Basically what I'm doing is casting it like you would a soft bait. Letting it get right to the bottom like you would with a soft bait. And then mixing up my retrieve. Sometimes I'm doing really big lifts and then letting it flutter down like I might with a um, jack flash lure. Other times I'm just twitching it really gently close to the bottom. Especially when I'm starting to feel that there's been a fish having a go. Then I'm just kind of just giving it enough action to try and hope that fish thinks that he's injured it and he's going to come in for the kill but um, to be honest today it doesn't seem to matter what action you try they all work of anchovies in the net that that guy just spat out. Talk about match the hatch. Even the um, crystal flash is a pretty good match for the hatch isn't it? There you go, can you see those all right? Anchovy digested mostly, anchovy digested partly, anchovy about to get eaten and digested, or maybe not, by the snapper. 